Ever wondered why your email marketing campaigns aren't generating the leads you need? It's a common question and you're not alone. There's a universal struggle with email marketing that many encounter, and it often revolves around three main issues. Firstly, low open rates. You craft a perfect email but it seems like no one's even giving it a chance, it's like throwing a party, but no one shows up, it's frustrating, isn't it? Secondly, poor click-through rates. You've got them to open the email but they're just not clicking on the links. It's like laying out a buffet but no one's eating. And thirdly, retaining subscribers is a challenge. It's like having a revolving door where people come in and go out just as quickly. It's a never-ending cycle that can feel like a losing battle. But fret not, because today we're diving into 8 strategies to supercharge your email marketing campaigns. First on our list is personalization. Personalization is more than just a buzzword in the world of email marketing. It's the secret sauce that could transform your campaigns from good to great. Consider this. When an email feels like it's been tailor-made just for you, you're more likely to pay attention, right? The same principle applies to your customers. Personalized emails are viewed as more relevant, more valuable, and are therefore more likely to be opened and clicked on. By incorporating elements like the recipient's name, location, or even their browsing history, you can craft a message that speaks directly to them. It's like whispering in a crowded room, your message cuts through the noise and commands attention. Studies have shown that personalized emails can improve open rates by up to 25% and click-through rates by an impressive 14%. Remember, a personalized email resonates more with the recipient, making them more likely to engage. Next, let's focus on segmentation. Picture this, you're at a party and someone keeps talking to you about their love for classic cars, but you have zero interest in automobiles. You'd tune out, right? The same happens with your email subscribers. Not everyone on your list has the same interests. And that's where segmentation comes in. Segmentation is like having a personal shopper who knows exactly what you like. You can divide your email list based on factors such as purchase history, geographic location, and personal interests. This way you're sending tailored content that each group finds valuable, instead of a one-size-fits-all message. For instance, if you're a clothing brand, you might send different emails to customers who frequently buy dresses than to those who prefer sportswear. This personalized approach not only helps you stay relevant but also boosts engagement and conversions. Remember, segmentation allows you to send more relevant content to your subscribers, increasing engagement and conversions. Moving on, we have mobile optimization. In the digital age we live in, the significance of mobile optimization cannot be overstated. Our lives are increasingly on the go, and our mobile devices are our constant companions. It's no surprise that a growing number of people are checking their emails on mobile devices. Think about it. When was the last time you checked your email on a desktop? Chances are, you're more likely to read an email on your smartphone while waiting for your coffee order than you are sitting at a desk. That's why it's crucial to adapt your email marketing campaigns to this mobile-first world. The design, layout, and content of your emails should be optimized for mobile viewing, ensuring they're easy to read and navigate on a small screen. This includes using responsive design, larger fonts, and clear, concise messaging. A mobile-optimized email ensures a user-friendly experience leading to higher engagement. Our fourth strategy is A-B testing. Have you ever been torn between two subject lines or perhaps two different call to actions? Well, this is where A-B testing comes into play. Imagine it like a science experiment where you control all variables but one to see how that single change impacts your results. In the realm of email marketing, this could mean testing two different subject lines to see which one gets a higher open rate. Or maybe you're curious if a button or a hyperlink performs better as a call to action. Whatever your question, A-B testing is the method to find your answer. By running these tests, you're not just making assumptions about what your audience prefers, you're getting data-backed insights that can guide your decision-making process. This way you're not leaving your campaign success up to chance, you're crafting it with precision. A-B testing gives you data-backed insights, helping you make informed decisions for better results. Now. Let's talk about quality content. This is the golden rule of any digital marketing strategy, and it's no different when it comes to building your email marketing campaigns. We're all bombarded with countless emails every day. So what makes yours stand out? The answer is quality content. Your content should be valuable and relevant to your subscribers. It could be an informative blog post, a helpful guide, a special offer, or even a captivating story. The key is to provide information that your audience will find useful and interesting. 
Remember, your subscribers have trusted you with their email addresses. This means they believe you have something valuable to offer. Don't disappoint them. Instead, use this opportunity to build a strong relationship with them by consistently delivering high-quality content. And here's a pro tip. Make your content easy to digest. Use bullet points, infographics, or short paragraphs. This makes it more likely for your audience to engage with your content and share it with others. Quality content not only engages your audience but also positions you as a trusted source of information. Sixth on our list is regular follow-ups. It's a strategy as old as time, yet it's one of the most underutilized. Remember, out of sight often means out of mind. So, how do we stay visible without being pushy? We do it through well-timed, thoughtful follow-ups. The key here is balance. You don't want to bombard your subscribers with daily emails. Instead, aim for periodic touch points that provide value and remind them of your presence. This could be a helpful article, a special offer, or even a simple, friendly check-in. Regular follow-ups are not just about maintaining a connection. They're a way to deepen relationships, understand your subscribers' needs better, and tailor your offerings accordingly. They're also a great way to gently nudge those who might be on the fence about your product or service. Remember, a well-executed follow-up can be the difference between a lost lead and a loyal customer. Regular follow-ups keep you on top of mind and can often trigger conversions. Next up, we have clear call to action. Now what is a call to action? It's a persuasive sentence that instructs the reader to take a specific action. In the world of email marketing, a call to action is the bridge between the content of your email and the action you want your subscriber to take. This could be making a purchase, signing up for a webinar, or even just clicking through to read a blog post. But, it's not enough to simply ask your subscribers to take an action. Your call to action needs to be clear, compelling, and create a sense of urgency. Imagine if you received an email that ended with a vague, check out our website. Would you feel compelled to do so? Probably not. But if the email ended with a clear, claim your 20% discount now, you'd be far more likely to take action. A clear call to action guides your subscribers on what to do next, increasing the chance of conversion. Last but not least, we have analytics and adjustment. This strategy is the compass that guides your email marketing ship. Without it, you're sailing blindly, with no real idea if you're moving towards your destination or drifting further away. Think of analytics and adjustment as your continuous feedback loop. You send out an email campaign, analyze the responses, and then adjust your strategy based on the data. Did your open rates dip? Maybe your subject line wasn't compelling enough. Did your click-through rates plummet? Perhaps your call to action wasn't clear or enticing. Remember, the key to effective email marketing isn't just about sending emails. It's about learning from each campaign, understanding what works and what doesn't, and then tweaking your strategy accordingly. This process of constant refinement is what keeps your campaigns fresh, your audience engaged, and your leads pipeline flowing. Analyzing and adjusting based on data helps you refine your strategies for better results. So, there you have it, 8 strategies to boost your email marketing campaigns. Let's quickly recap. First, we talked about personalization. Remember, your audience craves personalized content. It's all about making your subscribers feel special. Second, we delved into segmentation. Segmenting your email list can significantly increase engagement rates. Third, we emphasized mobile optimization. In a world where everyone's on their phone, this is a must. Fourth, we discussed A-B testing. Testing allows you to understand what works best for your audience. Fifth, we underscored the importance of quality content. Great content is the backbone of any successful campaign. Sixth, we highlighted the power of regular follow-ups. Consistency is key. Seventh, we stress the need for clear call to actions. A well-crafted CTA can drive conversions. Lastly, we explored analytics and adjustment. It's about measuring performance and making necessary adjustments. Implement these strategies today and watch your email marketing campaigns flourish.